here at the Lenara Connect and uh, who are you? I am Marcelo Zufo. I am a professor at São Paulo University of Brazil. I teach embedded computing design for my electrical engineering students. And uh, so... And I'm John Mad Dog Hall. I'm the president of Linux International and I'm a consultant for Lenaro, uh, helping them with various projects. So what have you been talking about this week? Well, we've been talking about a series of things, uh, projects that are going on, ways that the university could tie in with Lenaro and their member companies and lend their specific expertise to projects that maybe these companies don't have the people in, in hand to do maybe researchy types of work and things like that. So people don't understand a lot of times that you, you do research and then you do advanced development and then you do production engineering. And the professor has about 16,000 PhDs and 100,000 students at the University of Sao Paulo. So it's a perfect, perfect thing to, to do that with. Really? Well, for me it was a big discovery this conference because I teach embedded computing for years. And we know that open source is became a major trend in this industry. And for me, it was the first time that I visited this conference, and I was delighted with the energy of this community. And I really believe that it will be the future for young students that have a, a, a grade on electrical engineering and computer engineering. So open source, collaborative design, and cooperation in industry, in these topics, are a major trend in my point of view. And this is not a trade show. This is not a, a conference per se. This is actually people working together on real projects that are going to be delivered next year as product into the industry, or even this year as product in the industry. And this is being done in September. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, the, the beauty of this conference is the engineering conference. So we can have a face-to-face -face discussion with engineers that really face the real problems. And for a professor in design, that's a marvelous opportunity. So how many different things are happening in this world of embedded uh, ARM? There's lots of stuff happening, right? Well, the maker movement, the standardization of low-cost developing boards, uh, they spread out of embedded computing in all domains of human life, IoT. So uh, the, the industry is coming to a given direction where I believe the only way to sustain this developing future is in this kind of approach that Linaro is having. There's a big opportunity right there for Brazil and the future. There's, uh, there's a lot of things to, to, a lot of opportunities right there. Well, and it's not only for small boards and embedded systems, but it's also for large server farms. Uh, Brazil has one of the largest hydroelectric plants in the world, Taipu, and they have an active program to try and cut down on the amount of electrical usage uh, to keep the electrical usage as low as possible so they don't have to build another Taipu. And so the work that's being done by Linero in power management and power reduction and things like that, they still have a high performing system with low, low amount of heat generation is very important. What do you think about ARM? Well, uh, that is what John pointed out. Uh, energy, you became a major trend in the future of embedded computing. So reducing uh, the energy footprints in these embedded computers is a very promising technology for the future of computing and future of the embedded computing. And again, um, open source is also another part of this equation. So with the dissemination, the basic dissemination of embedded computing in, in human life, uh, open source will be probably the only way to face the question of the design gap. I mean, the distance between hardware and software developing. And Lenaro doesn't work just on the kernel of the operating system. They also work on the tool chain, which means improvements to the compilers. It means uh, uh, Lava, which is a testing system. I saw a demonstration in here of network-defined virtual, virtual networks being managed by the Lava system, which I found really fascinating. Another point that is interesting to mention is about innovation. Uh, in all talks that I see here, people are talking about designs that are affecting 
half a billion people, one billion people, 104 billion people. So uh, it's engineering conference, but with a, a direct relation for people's life. I mean, we're doing things here that can affect people's life everywhere in the globe. So it's just about ideas and uh, making them real, optimizing and uh, releasing lots of new crazy world-changing things. Optimizing, collaborating, open sourcing, uh, establishing new trends, focusing open standards. So I, 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 that's my first time in this conference and I really feel a strong uh, sense of community in this conference. I was upstairs just a few minutes ago at the elevator coming down here and this young man comes up to me. He says, Mad Dog, I met you in the year 2006 at the Ohio Linux Fest. He says, today I'm working in a small company. We have six uh, shareholders in the company. We have 15 employees. Most of our shareholders are in France. So he's working in a worldwide company that's solely working on free software Linux support. This makes me feel good. This is the type of thing that can happen when you have open source, that people can look at it, study it, learn from it, and then contribute to it. Can you talk about some of the examples of the things you are uh, working on? And what, uh, do you have some examples of uh, some, some? Oh yeah, um, IoT, uh, we have appliances here from Common Life, like washing machines, to 